The Atlas Weekend Music Festival has kicked off in Kiev. Alexandra is visiting the event for the third time. As a huge music fan, she spent the whole year looking forward to the festival. I wrote down a line from one of the songs of the band called Pianitsa. Reality exists and it triumphs. For me, a full life is when I feel that I'm true to myself and people around me are true to themselves as well. And this is the real triumph. It's amazing. Meanwhile, this panel was created by an organization of people living with HIV. Over the past three days of the festival, more than 500 Ukrainians took a free HIV test. And I am planning to do it right now. Hello, is it going to hurt? Ilya found out three years ago that he was HIV positive. Despite this, he lives a full life and helps others. Ilya says it will take only 10 to 15 minutes of your time, but the results are 100% accurate. Today, we have the so-called antiretroviral therapy that helps people with HIV have a full life. The virus gets blocked and they can have a family and healthy children. For Anatoly, a full life means lots of movement. The athlete represents an organization of active people with visual impairment. This is my second day here. Live music. Nothing gets better than this. When a person loses one of their senses, others sharpen. Hearing, for example. There are a lot of examples when blind people turn out to be great musicians or composers. The festival has lots of locations. The organizers get creative to attract the public. Visitors are welcome to buy sunglasses or take an unusual selfie for social media. We offer our visitors to choose their own reality. For example, to put these glasses on and take a look at the world around under a different angle. Take a picture and start implementing this fantasy into real life. Health, sports, education, environmental protection and the fight against corruption are just some of the sectors presented at the festival by NGOs. The youth need to join socially valuable initiatives and organizations, so we try to popularize this approach during these events. The organizers believe that such platforms are an excellent opportunity for dialogue. On the first day, the festival was visited by 154,000 people. Kiev is hosting the event for the fourth time. It is considered to be one of the largest music festivals in Eastern Europe.